for a bomb in Paris. These are not pleasant days on the south side of Atlanta. Someone has been abducting and murdering black children, and the police, unable to make any headway, are under fire. Sam Ford reports. Insanity is how Atlanta's mayor has described it. In a little more than a year, eight Atlanta children have been found strangled, bludgeoned, or shot to death. Six others are missing. The latest victim, 12-year-old Charles Stevens, was found Friday. He had last been seen several hours earlier at a neighborhood grocery store. Police are puzzled by these killings in which all of the victims are inner city black children, most of them boys between the ages of 8 and 15 years old. The parents of the dead and missing have formed their own group called the Committee to Stop Children's Murders. The head of the group is Camille Bell, whose nine-year-old son Youssef was found dead last November. I know that every time it comes back, it comes about, it leaves me frustrated and frightened and angry all at the same time. And um, I know it does it to everybody else here in the city. Since July 1979, Atlanta has been plagued by senseless crimes against children. Atlanta television stations have run announcements looking for missing children and warning parents of the dangers. And civil rights leaders have led protest marches and rallies against the killings. Somebody in our community has some information. Somebody knows what went down. And if we care enough, if we love enough, we'll belch it up. State and local authorities have formed a 20-man task force, but the Atlanta Police Department, under heavy criticism from the press, is on the defensive. We are, through the establishment of our task force, utilizing all the resources humanly possible, doing all that's humanly possible to solve the cases. To, to ask why haven't we is a rhetorical question because if we could have, we would have. $20,000 in rewards have been offered for information leading to the arrest of the killer or killers, but authorities have little confidence that the rewards can be paid before another innocent child dies. Sam Ford, CBS News, Atlanta.